Right now we're at our uh, new athletic uh, football field facility for the football games. Um, he's panning across here. You can see the metal building doesn't have any sheeting on the outside. Will be the uh, new ticket booth for the home side. And as you come left here will be the new concession stand. Uh, the concession stand is actually about twice as big as what we've had in the past. So maybe we can get a lot more people served out of there. And it, as you notice, the front area here, we've got a big wide front area that goes up nearly the edge of the track that for people to line up, go in, get their food, uh, popcorn and soda pop for the ball games. All the grounds on the home side over here that the uh, that the guests will be able to see is, is all cement. So everything uh, be easily kept and and uh, really nice addition to our to our football stadium. Okay, now we're out on the uh, new football field for the Muleshoe uh, Muleshoe Independent School District. Uh, you know, Robert shooting down on the uh, south end. You can see our new scoreboard and our new 25 second clocks along with our new goal post. We're actually out on our new turf field, which was uh, installed by AstroTurf this summer. Uh, all the football players, all our fans, really excited about uh, uh, new new turf here. Muleshoe ISD. As he pans through, you'll see the new bleacher facility at our football field. Uh, the center sections, you see all the chair seating, really, really comfortable. That's the reserve seating. Uh, you see the little design in the middle, uh, all black seats, and then the gray seats will outline the letter M. Really nice. Uh, the new press box is on top. Um, trying to get everything ready for our first home game September the 3rd against Portalis a week from uh, tomorrow night and uh, I mean the bleachers are really re we're really proud of them they're gonna be plenty of room for everybody to have a nice seat uh, we've got a new track surface uh, they're actually painting the lines and the markings on it uh, as we speak but um, really nice addition here from Yoshu ISD the football players have been out on the field. Uh, we had a couple of deals we had to get done. They've been out on the field about a week and just love it. David Wood said it is, had that rain, misting rain the other day. He was out here on it and he said, man, it was just unbelievable, the feel and the, and, uh, the ki kids just really love it. This may be a better shot of our scoreboard. We kind of had the goalpost blocking it from that other side, but new scoreboard here, home of the mules. We appreciate First Bank. I uh, got their logo on there for uh, donation of the new scoreboard for the uh, Muleshoe football facility. Today is Thursday, August the 26th, and we're standing in the reserve seat section, and these are chair seats. They're comfortable, and Sam just said, look at all that room between yeah. Yeah. the knee and the back of the chair in front of you. And uh, right now, in the reserved seat section, how many seats do you have to sell? Well, I was looking, I think we have um, um, seven or eight left to sell. We have 540 reserved seats. Uh -huh. We had about 475 last year, 480. We have 540 seats now. Uh -huh. And we have about seven or eight left mm -hmm. uh, to sell, something like that. Isn't that great? That's wonderful. It, five home games this year, and uh, two or three of them will be district. Three. Is that right? Three? Uh, yeah, district. Yeah, that's right. Three district games among the home four, games. Four, and four, four, four? Four district. Four district. Four district because four we have district. an eight-team district, so we have a lot oh, more district right. games. Yeah. That's right. I forget. Yeah. And I, I believe this is the first time I ever remember us being in that big a district. Uh, it's not, not since I've been here. We haven't been an eight-team district for sure. This is the biggest district we've had since I've been around. <laughs> We've got an eight-team district this year, and and not only eight teams, but we have eight tough teams in the whole district. But this is the first time, uh, you know, you might talk to Bob and Ronnie, see back years and years ago if, if they were in a district like this. But, you know, five or six-team district is about what we've been in the last 30 years. So. I remember we were in a district years ago with Periton, but that's just talking about distance, you know, of traveling. We played them 
and it was snowing in Periton that November. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it, it's wonderful. And these uh, gray seats here form the mule or the M, and, and they look so great. I have had so many people on our website say it looks like a junior college stadium. It, it, it is. Uh, it's wonderful. And it does look like. Uh, something that you would see at a small college. Uh, we're mm -hmm. very proud of the way of the things that we could do with the money we had left over mm -hmm. uh, from the bond election, from what we saved on the. It, on it was a 25. It's 25 million yeah. dollar bond that uh, the citizens passed in 06, 2006, and um, we've done a, we've done all of the four uh, priorities that they had, and then we had uh, some money left over, and we were able to do the kitchen at DeShazo and all of this football. Uh, expansion project and and high school the the science laboratories are fantastic the home ec d uh, department is and the the mill shoe carry more auditorium it is just really improved with that sound system and also the lighting and then the sound booth that was a great addition mm -hmm. uh, the sound booth will allow us to you know control the sound and lighting uh, from a secure location, secure location, and and uh, so we're we're very proud of all the additions that we've done. And uh, down at the uh, concession stand, that still will be operated by the Fine Arts Boosters. The Fine Arts Booster Club will operate the concession stand. We have more windows and a lot more room down there. We're hoping that uh, that will allow for some more lines and and we, not as long a wait time, and so uh, people can get their drinks and popcorn and. And get back to the stands so they can watch the, those exciting mule shoe mules. Right, and we're going to go on top uh, and see the venue from the press box of Benny Douglas Stadium. You know, Sam and Gene uh, always for a 2A or even when we were in 3A, our press box has been really good. I know because we've been in a jillion of them around West Texas and uh, also our visitors, we treat them nice over there. I, I love over there, but this is awesome. This, uh, Maggie, and this is one thing we're real proud of. Uh, we have enough enough rooms in our new press box. We'll have, you know, keep everybody separated. We've got a room for Bob and Ronnie on Channel 6. We have a room for the coaches. A room for the uh, the big room here is for the PA system, the uh, uh, scorekeepers and the statisticians, and then a room on the far end for uh, – Delton Wilhite and uh, Camille Radio, and we also have a filming shed on top. We'll go up here in just a couple of minutes, but uh, really nice addition here. This uh, really proud of this this new press box. We're still in the press box here. He's looking out the uh, the back side of the new press box. Uh, these windows you're looking at is for ventilation and stuff uh, up in our new press box. Uh, you can see him looking down on the new restroom facility. He's going out the back door. I'd like him to turn around and get the new windows here in the front. The uh, the angle windows uh, gives you a better view and less glare for the announcer, for the uh, uh, scorekeepers and stuff, a lot better view. Right now he's filming the stairs that run along the back side of the uh, press box, and that heads up to the to the filming booth up on top of the press box it's open up where don't have to film through glass uh, but it still gives you some uh, protection on the roof from a little rain if it ever rains here in Bailey County and then we've got some protection on the sides but terrific view of the new stadium here at Milshu Independent School District Boy, this is a good view isn't it? it is a good view So you got electrical for the filmers on both sides. Yeah. 